Hi guys, welcome to my channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to explain you how to enable and disable any at the rate of test annotations or any test cases in the test engine, right? So let's say if you have a class and that class have a lot of test cases in it, how test engine is helping you to enable and disable the test case that you want to run, right? So before it's late, let's get started. So let me take you to the Eclipse. Let me create a class. And after creating a class, let me have some test cases here. So my first test case is going to be here, which is going to be public void test case one. And I have added my first test case in my class whose name is four, right? And now I must import it. After importing it, I'm getting the run as test ng test here. When I ran it, I can show you in my console so that one ran one pass i can even generate the emailable report and show you that one test case has got executed and one of them it's pass very simple but the question was not this question was how do i disable it right guys if you do not pass the parameter here which is called is enabled by default it is enabled right but let me pass the parameter here called as enabled is equals to false if you make enabled is equals to false it means it is not enabled right and if it is not enabled it is not going to run and if it is not going to run nothing will happen right zero pass zero skipped zero retried zero failed right everything is zero 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 right but if i make it true true means you know it is enabled right so if you make it true now you can see total test run uh, is equals to one passes is equals to one you can even generate the report it will show you beautiful green color right this is our method name and the green color means pass you can also have a look here test case is pass right so this is how you can enable or disable the any test case in the uh, test ng concept but guys if you want your test case to be enabled right then no need to write enables equals to true right if you really want your test case to be enabled just do not make use of this particular concept and just simply go and run it when you go simply go and run it it will tell you total test case is run equals to one passes is equals to one in case you want to disable it just make it false if you make it false that means that particular test case is not going to get executed right let me have one more at the rate of test here now you can see i have total of two test cases here test cases here one whose name is test case one with a name called as test case two right so this means it is disabled and just because i have not passed here uh, enable or disable that means it is enabled now you can see in a class whose name is four the total at the rate of test i have here is two at the rate of test i have but out of which one is disabled and one is enabled i need not tell you if i run this particular program how many test cases will get executed right if you know the answer put it out in the comment section right away but still i'm going to run it and show it to you after running this and generating the report you can see the total test cases that got executed is just one you can also confirm from here total test cases that has got executed is just one and which is that test case two only test case two have got executed test case one has been marked as ignored why because it is enabled equals to false and false means it is not going to run if you want your this particular test case also to be running just do not make use of this particular concept right click run as test now you can see total test cases run equals to two passes to you can see here also result of running test also you can see here it will show you test case one and test case two both of them are getting executed i hope this kind of practical program is really helping you to understand the concept of the test ng and i'm pretty sure you guys are able to understand the test ng concept very easily in a more proficient and practical manner if you think this video was helpful please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by MKT and please share this video with your needy friends. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video.